Hey, what's up guys? So you might remember a video I made a while back on Bluetooth where I created a wireless link between the computer and the Arduino and I was even able to reprogram the Arduino wirelessly using Bluetooth. Well, this was actually called Bluetooth Classic and what I want to talk about today is Bluetooth Low Energy. So some of the cool things about Bluetooth Low Energy or BLE or BTLE are that it's low energy. So it's low power, great for battery powered applications. It's low data rate. We're not talking about streaming audio, streaming data, things like that. We're, we're talking about getting in, getting out, getting our data and moving on. So things like sensors, uh, wearables, uh, it's great for home automation. And I especially like it for my side projects because it plays nicely with Apple products. So one of the hard things about Bluetooth Low Energy is selecting the right module for your application. So you might be looking at things like size, uh, cost, availability, uh, support, how easy is it to actually get something done with it. And uh, at USA Firmware, we've dealt with a ton of Bluetooth Low Energy modules. And one that we've had a lot of success with is the Anarin Bluetooth module. And that's the one we're gonna be talking about today. In fact, I even created my own board just for this module. So what I wanna do in this video is give you a quick demo showing you how fast and how easy it is to blink an LED from your iPhone to a Bluetooth device. So let's take a look over here. Okay, so this is the board I designed for the Anarin Bluetooth Low Energy Module. And it basically just breaks out all the pins to the module and I also threw in an LED there with some push buttons, which I'll explain later. Uh, your code actually runs on the module itself, so no external microcontroller with this module. Uh, it's sporting a, an ARM Cortex M3 processor, so it's extremely powerful, and it's got all the peripherals you could ever want, like UART, I2C, SPI, digital I.O., and even analog inputs. So uh, the board I designed here is actually breadboard friendly. And I was thinking about designing different boards for it. Like uh, I already designed a board that you could plug this into and it gives you a coin cell battery or a lithium battery. Uh, in the future, I might do a display board or you know maybe an, even an Arduino backpack board, something like that. Uh, I'm even thinking about selling this board too, so uh, check out the description and uh, get in touch with me if that's something you'd be interested in. I think I might be able to sell it for around $15 or so. Uh, it's programmed via UART, so I also have here a board I designed that's just a simple USB to serial converter. Uh, it runs off of three, three volts, so it's in coin cell territory. Uh, I'm running it at 3.3 volts here right off of the uh, the USB to serial converter. Um, let's jump over to the uh, to the computer here and I'll show you the home page here for that uh, or the product page for that Bluetooth module and I'll show you some of the other things they've got. This is the one I'm using here with the PCB antenna. They also have one with an external antenna and uh, they do have their own development board here which is really cool it's got a ton of sensors and you can do all kinds of stuff with it uh, and it's it's even got that usb to serial converter on board uh, so check that out but what you need to do to get started with this is uh, first set up an account with uh, atmosphere so let's go to the atmosphere development site so set up your account with this this will give you access to the atmosphere ide uh, before you do that though, let's go ahead and get the programmer. So you go to support, downloads. I'm running on a Mac, so I have this programmer here, but I, uh, it also runs on Windows and Linux. Uh, I've, I have been using this on Windows 7 and Windows 10. Um, once you have the programmer, go ahead and sign in with your same uh, username and password as you did for the Atmosphere site. Uh, we'll come back to this here in a second. But let's go ahead and launch the IDE here. Okay, so it is a web-based IDE, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, let's just create a new project here. So you kind of got a sneak peek there at what we're going to be building. Uh, and this is the IDE. So over here is where you drag and drop all of your code. Um, there is a code view, so if you want to write your own C code, which is you know typically what we would do. In fact, 
what you can do is pull all of this offline and code everything offline, which I'll talk about more in future videos. Um, but for now, let's just work within this web interface. Over here to the right is what your app is gonna look like. Yeah, that's right. This actually creates an app for you, which is kind of unheard of. I've never seen anything like this. Usually they give you some base code that you can load into the Bluetooth module, and then it's sort of up to you to figure out you know, what to do with the app. Well, this actually creates the app for you. It's pretty, pretty unbelievable. So let's go ahead and blink an LED. So uh, what we're gonna do is grab a GPIO toggle. And we'll talk more about what all these different functions here do in future videos. And then we're gonna grab a button. Okay, and this button's gonna land right in the app. And let's change this layout here. We'll create a new one. And I'm running on an iPhone 5S. So we'll add that in. Let's kind of center our button up a little bit there. That's good enough. Change that label to like, I don't know, toggle. Okay. And that LED that I have on the board is connected up to P0 uh, directly. And that's something you need to be careful with because there's not a lot of cur drive current strength on these digital pins. So uh, I'm driving that LED uh, uh, with very little current, okay? Now what's cool is as we dro drop things in over here, you can go over to the code view and it, you can see it's auto-generating this code to toggle the LED, which is kind of nice because then you can go in and modify it however you want. And it's got other built-in functions here that you can add your add different code in as well, like uh, an interval function. And this is called at a specific interval that you can change through project settings and you can see here our interval time is once every 1,000 milliseconds. So that's once a second. That whatever you have in the interval function here would be called. Uh, you also have connected and disconnected. So you can put some code in there to do something when it connects and disconnects. Okay, so uh, we'll talk more about all of this in future videos. But anyway, we just basically created enough code to blink an LED. So uh, let's go ahead and do a project build on that and this is going to compile and build in uh, their server so let's go ahead and plug in this guy here okay so one of the things we want to do before we program the module is set it up to accept new code so it's kind of like setting up that bloop or downloading the bootloader to the Arduino so that it can be programmed uh, via the UART. Uh, same kind of thing here. So what we're gonna do is first hold down the recover button here and then we want to hold down the reset button, let go of the reset button, let go of the recover button. Okay now it's in recovery mode and I can recover it. Let's just refresh that. Make sure we get the right serial port, click recover, and now it's preparing the module for programming. Okay, so we'll just let that go. Okay, that's completed. Uh, now, what's cool about this is that the programmer utility here is connected to your live session here. So whatever you've got going on here is what's going to be, oh boy, what did I just do? Is going to be actually downloaded or programmed to the module from the Atmosphere programmer. So let's just uh, go ahead and program this, but before we do that, let's just hit that reset button one more time and click program. Okay, and it is programming the module. So now from your mobile device, you want to go to the App Store and download the Atmosphere app, okay? And this works on Windows, Android, and iOS. And we'll go ahead and log in with our same username and password. And you'll see that it immediately pulls up the same app that's in the uh, web IDE here. So we'll go here and click the little gears and we'll do a scan. And we see our module right here. We'll go ahead, click on that, connect, connecting, discovering, connected. And we'll go ahead and click our button and hopefully we see the LED. There we go. So that might be a record for the fastest time ever to blink an LED from, uh, from a mobile device via Bluetooth Low Energy. So it's pretty incredible. And uh, like I said, there's a lot more we can do with this. And even from 
programming it, we're gonna talk a lot more about this. We're gonna talk about pulling down this code offline because I'm honestly not a huge fan of web IDEs. I'd much rather work offline from within an SDK. And uh, under the hood here, under the, the Anarin case here is a Broadcom Bluetooth low energy part. So it utilizes the Wicked SDK. So we'll talk more about that in future videos, but I just wanted to show you uh, how cool this module is and how fast and easy it is to work with. Uh, don't forget to let me know if you're interested in this board and I may do a small batch run of the board and sell them. So uh, let me know. And that's the video. Thanks for watching.